Hey guys, this is where it started, August 25th, 2003. That was almost 10 years ago. We started our first church service that Sunday morning right here at the J.D. Sim Center. You know what's unique? We'd only been in the neighborhood about three weeks when we were doing our adopter block. Adopter block wasn't handing out food and praying for people or giving them furniture. It was mowing their lawn and picking up weeds out of the sidewalk and sweeping up the glass that was broken, just cleaning up the neighborhood. And that's how we started. Plus, we did a metric kit. We had a little boom box and a little blue tarp. And we did it in the park. We just invited some kids out. And that's where it all began in August 2003. Hey, after being at J.D. Sim Center for about three or four weeks, maybe a month, we moved over here to the, to the Central Park Gym. Uh, and man, it was a great move for us. We had to set up and tear down, and, but it was a lot of fun. And this park was crazy. We had drug dealers on this park. We had about 50 homeless people in the summertime sleeping up on the hill right behind me here. Uh, it was a great opportunity to minister to those in need. And, and our church was able to grow because we had the room. And it was kind of uh, centrally located as well, right here in the old Fort Ward. After two years of being in that gymnasium, they closed it down to remodel it. So we had to find a new place to go. And man, we didn't know what to do. But this empty lot right here beside me is where we ended up going. We were given a three-pole circus set, bright yellow and bright white. And we set it up, no sides on it. And we had church here for seven months out here in this field. We would crank it up and people in the neighborhood, if they didn't come to church, they'd open the windows or sit out on their porches. It was one of the funnest times until December. December it froze. And we made it all the way through the end of December here in this field, and then we moved off to another place. But it was great here, man. We had some great memories. We had night services out here. Oh, it was just the best time. And after that cold December, we were fortunate to get into this theater behind me. It was crazy. It's really dark in there. It's a Friday night horror flick. Sometimes we'd come here on Sunday morning and they'll be saying, you know, Satan's wife rises from the dead or something on the marquee. It was crazy, but it was a necessity. So from the JD Sim Center to the gymnasium to the empty field of the tent to this horror flick movie theater, it was a lot of fun. We stayed there about, oh, I guess maybe seven, eight months there as well. Okay guys, from that movie theater, that dark place, to this 10,000 square foot warehouse, which is now our sanctuary. Listen, we started with hardly anything. A little tiny rental up here that had an occupancy of 35 with 60 people in it. Off to a gymnasium, off to a tent, into a, a movie theater, and into here. Today, we have eight campuses. Five buildings here in this area, plus a community garden, and two houses outside the city of Atlanta, where it's a transition home for women we rescue out of sex trafficking. Listen, be faithful. Faithful, this is a word for you and a word for us. Stay faithful to your call and watch what God will do. I want to thank you for your faithfulness of supporting us. I want to thank you for your faithfulness of your, your volunteerism and all the things that you've done for us. Just God bless you and, and I hope that you'll be able to come out. If you haven't been here, I hope you come out and take a tour of all these different campuses around the city and see what you've invested in and see the great fruit that God has given us. God bless you all. We love you.